First we had Windows 8. Then we had Windows 8.1. Then we have the Windows 8.1 update. In this micro nugget, we'll take a look at the user interface enhancements available with the Windows 8.1 update. This is a slice of my configuring Windows 8.1 course here at CBT Nuggets. Now, before we get into the details of the user interface changes, just a couple of housekeeping things here. How do you get the Windows 8.1 update? Well, it's part of the Windows update feature. That's right. So let's say you are on a version of Windows like Windows 8.1 Retail, and you've got yourself set to update that machine automatically. You will be going to the Win update automatically once some certain required updates are made. Speaking of required updates, if you do not move to this Windows update, you will no longer be able to update your computer in the future. So this is a mandatory update that we must do in order to receive future updates. Also of note, if you have like TechNet download and MSDN download versions of Windows, you will be slipstreamed with this at a later date. So this is really impacting uh, RT, it's 8.1, it's 8.1 Pro, and it's 8.1 Enterprise. So if you have any you know, not for retail version of Windows 8.1, please note that you won't get this update right away. Now, one thing this enhancement, this update does not include is this new and improved start button that Microsoft showed off recently at a conference. So notice this is like really, really cool looking and we even have live tiles in it. But this particular start button update did not come with our Windows 8.1 update. Microsoft says this start button that so many consumers want is indeed coming shortly in the future. So let's jump into the UI enhancements that we do get. Now, the first thing I want to point out to you is in this Enterprise 8.1 updated machine, what happened when I booted it for the first time? I went right to the desktop. That's right. While this setting was available in 8.1, we would go down here and choose properties and we could say, please boot directly to the desktop. That is no longer a setting that you have to make. You see, what happened is this 8.1 install detected that I was not on a tablet, so it automatically brings me to the desktop as opposed to the start menu. If you do install on a tablet, obviously it will bring you directly to the start menu instead of to the desktop. Speaking of the start menu, there are UI enhancements there. Let's go ahead and start there. So I'm going to go down and access the start menu with this button in the lower left corner, which again will soon become a start button. And notice one of the enhancements right off the bat we see in the start menu is that we now have a power options button and we now have a search button. So we could bring those up before as the charms feature. Those would slide out as charms, as you can see, but now we get power and search right there on the start screen. By the way, speaking of the power options, been super impressed with the sleep functionality. This really, really works as we would want it to. Yeah, a really instantaneous sleep and then really instantaneous wake up from sleep. Now, of course, that's gonna be a function of the underlying hardware too and how well that works. And one more note on this new power button, please note on some tablet installs, you will not see it. Now, another nice enhancement on this start screen is the tiles finally have right click functionality. So notice by default, they took the music tile and they made it quite small. This is actually a tile that I use a lot. So I'm gonna right click and notice I have all kinds of options here. I can pin it to the taskbar, great. That's over on my desktop. And I can resize here easily. So I want a nice large one. And I'm gonna move this over here. And in fact, one that I use all the time obviously is desktop. I'm gonna write that, uh, resize that to a wide tile. And there we go, I got my huge music, got my nice big wide desktop, and we can just easily arrange these. Notice another enhancement. They add to new installs. You won't get this if you've already updated your start menu, but if you have a new install, you're gonna get uh, these four. You're gonna get this PC, you're gonna get PC settings, you're gonna get pictures, 
and you're going to get documents. So this is an enhanced group of tiles that Microsoft adds for us automatically. Now we notice something else new, and that is down here in the lower left corner, it's telling us we have 12 new apps installed. So this counter for new apps is a new UI enhancement. If I click that, we'll go into the apps area. You can see they did this much better, didn't they? They space it better. We can see new apps are gonna hold the name new, and we can see just, just overall well thought out here. In fact, if you go and click on one of the headers, we go into a real bird's eye view of the apps area. So I could quickly jump to all my apps that begin with F, for instance, by using that bird's eye view. Now, when you start getting lots and lots of apps installed, you may want to change the zoom level here. So we'll go down to settings. Uh, let me try this again here. Let me get my charms to display. There we go. We're gonna go to settings and we are going to choose tiles. And here we can say show more apps in apps view. We can slide this, okay, to change the size, right? So we can see more apps now in the one view. So we can manipulate how many apps are appearing on one screen easily. Okay, now we've jumped over back to our desktop and notice I've changed the resolution so my full screen Windows Store apps can run because one of the things that they did with the UI was they have better integration now with those apps and your desktop. This was another thing that customers were crying out about. So notice the first kind of clue here that something's different is we've got the Windows Store app pinned to our taskbar. That's the music app we pinned earlier in this demonstration. So what I'm gonna do to show this integration is I'll go back over to my live tiles here and I'll launch, oh, the weather app. First of all, notice up at the top, we have pointing to the top of the app, we now have minimize, close controls. We have this button in the top left corner for split left, split right, that's snapping it to the left or the right of the screen, minimize, close. So we now have, you know, nice windows controls on these full screen apps. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize and notice we are minimized to the taskbar. In fact, if we do this with like the music app, sure enough, this full screen app, I'll go to radio for instance, and we'll go ahead and start a station. Oh, one of my favorite bands, Muse. So we'll start a Muse station here. And the nice thing is we're gonna get play controls, right? With that particular icon. <laughs> That's great. The music actually started blaring in the background. That's perfect. So let me point up to the top of the screen here. Let me minimize. And if we point down at that particular uh, icon, notice we get controls, right, from the desktop. I'm going to pause that music that's playing in the background. There we go. So notice much better integration now with those full screen apps and our desktop. This was long overdue. Now, I know someone in our YouTube audience right now is saying, well, Anthony, I don't want that integration. I don't like the full screen apps. I don't like the Windows App Store, la la la. Hey, no problem. What we can do to turn off this level of integration is we can right click the taskbar, go into properties, and notice we have the option in here. Let's see, I believe it's going to be located uh, right here show Windows Store apps on the taskbar. So we could clear that in order to cancel that level of integration. So the final thing I wanna show you for our Windows 8.1 UI updates are just some improved functionality in some of the areas that your users might visit. For instance, let's do a search on PC settings. Okay, you'll notice a lot of enhancements in here. I'll go to PC and devices, for instance, and we've got a new area called disk space. Awesome. So notice how easy it is going to be for individuals to see, hey, what's taking up space on my PC and get guidance on clearing up space. Notice it's going to be easier to do things like rename your PC or join a domain from the PC info screen. Well, in this micro nugget, we went ahead and took a look at many of the great UI enhancements that are available in the Windows 8.1 update. I sure hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.